Hi, this is Ellen from The Chili Dog, and today I'd like to share a little bit about how to measure your foot for hand-knit socks and some things to consider as you choose what size sock you're going to knit. To start, you'll need both a ruler and a tape measure. Generally, I think it's best to take measurements in the morning. If you're on your feet all day or if you live someplace like me that's quite warm, your feet can swell by the end of the day and impact your measurements. To begin, let's measure our foot length. For the most accurate foot length measurement, position your ruler on a hard surface so that the zero mark is up against a wall. Then place your heel against the wall so that your foot is next to the ruler. You don't want to place a lot of pressure on the foot being measured by bearing weight on it because this can cause your foot to spread out and lengthen. Measure to the tip of your longest toe, which in many cases is not your big toe. And be aware that bending over to read the numbers on the ruler, again, may put pressure on your foot, causing it to spread and lengthen. So it can be helpful to have a friend measure for you. My foot is nine and a half inches long. You may also want to measure your other foot for comparison purposes. The circumference of your foot is measured at the widest part. You can sit down for this measurement, but again, it's best to measure with your foot resting on a hard surface. This makes it easier to identify the widest part of your foot and keeps your foot flat so you don't pull the tape measure too tightly to create a measurement that's too small. Place your tape measure face down on the floor. Set your foot down so that the widest part is across the tape measure. Then pull the tape measure up so that it's snug but not squeezing your foot. My foot is eight and a quarter inches in circumference. Again, you may want to measure your other foot for comparison. Before you start knitting, there are a couple more things to consider when choosing how large you should knit your socks. Most importantly, if your socks are too loose, throughout the day, they'll slide down your foot and possibly wad up in the bottom of your shoe, which is very uncomfortable. Socks feel and fit better if they are a little snug and have what designers call negative ease. That just means that your finished sock measurements should be slightly smaller than your actual measured foot measurements. How much smaller is a matter of personal preference? A good rule of thumb is to knit your sock so that it is 5 to 10% smaller than your actual foot. But what if your feet aren't exactly the same size as each other? Typically, both socks will still be knit the same size because it would be difficult to differentiate the left sock from the right when you put them on your feet. If your feet have slightly different measurements than each other, it's usually best to choose the smaller of each the length and the circumference measurements and then knit your socks accordingly based on those measurements. And don't forget to factor in the amount of negative ease you prefer. After you choose a sock pattern, one final thing to be aware of before you start knitting is how the designer addresses sizing. Most designers will tell you the finished measurements of the item being knit. So in this case, the foot circumference and length refer to the finished measurements of the sock, not the actual measurements of your feet. However, there are times that pattern sizing may refer only to your actual foot measurements or to your shoe size, and there's no mention at all of the finished sock size. This can make it more difficult to choose a size that has the negative ease you prefer. I hope you enjoyed learning how to measure your feet for hand-knit socks, and if you're looking for a new sock pattern to try, head over to the shop section of thechillydog.com to see what's new. Until next time, happy knitting.